Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great Class A motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Today we're looking at a beautiful 2002 National RV Dolphin model number 5342. This is a 35 foot long luxury motorhome. It's got two power slide outs. Folks, I've had a great opportunity to sell many of the National RV products over the years. And I, these are probably one of my all-time favorite motorhomes. I love the way they're built. Uh, these are a big step above your average Coachman or Forest River Class A or Fleetwood. I mean, these uh, luxury-minded, uh, you know, this unit, 2002, cost well over $100,000. You know, back then, that was it's a lot of money now. Back then, it was even more. Uh, beautiful coach. This is a Four Seasons. Full heated basement. Notice the striping and finish. Very good shape for the year model. Uh, it's got the newer Onan 5500 generator. Runs great. The OG generator. Onan OG. So it's a newer enclosed generator. Folks, built on a workhorse chassis. One of the best motorhome chassis you can buy. Let me tell you why. Workhorse is designed just for RVs. You know, they're they're not like a Ford where they put them in semi-trucks, they put them in uh, commercial vehicles or anything like that. Workhorses are designed just for motorhomes. Uh, which, so you've got a lot better ride and drive. It's got a lot better turning radius than the Ford. Uh, it's got the six-speed Allison transmission. It's got the big... 502 V8 8.1 Vortex 340 horsepower that's 35 more than the Ford uh, basically a workhorse is a diesel chassis with a gas engine notice you've got the 22.5 inch wheels and tires and if you notice the tires folks uh, Michelin tires all the way around they look great so you shouldn't have to worry about tires for a long time uh, so you're going to get a ride and drive, you're going to get the longevity with the Allison transmission, the big 340 horsepower engine. I mean, be honest with you folks, this motorhome has more horsepower than most diesel motorhomes had in 2002. So you're going to run off and leave a diesel. I mean, folks, just in immaculate condition, no matter where you look at it, it's got two big slides, both with awning toppers. Look at the size of the bedroom slide. I mean, most bedroom slides are five or six. This thing's an easy 10 or 12 feet long. Look at the back. There's no marks on the back for people to back up in anything, like you see on a lot of your bigger coaches. It's got the heavy-duty trailer tow package, rear-view camera system. Again, notice the awning topper on the main slide. Big water heater. It's got the 10-gallon DSI, gas or electric, tons of storage. More than enough storage to suit your needs. Like I said, folks, under, over $100,000 in 2002, you know it's going to be nice. Decals on the front aren't peeling or anything. I mean, double power step. 5342 model number. Let me show you the storage. And I'm, I mean, these are just well built, well insulated campers. And I'm going to try to do this one handed. Look how thick these doors are. That just shows you how well insulated these RVs are. Thick extra insulated walls, roof and floor, heated basement, full pass-through storage. And I've got pictures of more of the storage compartments if you want to look underneath the pictures. Of course, those boxes are your batteries, your house batteries. Everything closed nice and solid, no rattle. Let's take a look inside this Dolphin by National RV. Folks, inside this RV looks as nice as the outside. Just a beautiful coach. A lot of amenities. Let's start here in the front. Of course, it's got your power gear, hydraulic landing legs, so you can level it up with the push of a button. Workhorse chassis, 64, or excuse me, 54,000 miles, so very low miles for the year model. All kinds of options. Power heated mirrors. It's got the fan, the emergency boost. It's got the Renko braking system. 
monitor panels built in for the Voyager camera. Notice the seats, folks, are not worn. It's only got 54,000 miles. They both swivel around for party seating. Now, I know this kind of throws you off because it looks like it's missing a chair, but there's no chair that goes in this RV because you have to put it in front of the table. It is strictly designed for a little table so the passenger can swivel their seat around and have a nice place to sit, play cards, drink coffee, tea, and just a little nice little fold-up table. But it does not come with a chair, and it did not come with a chair from the factory. But I'm going to tell you, they really put a nice little touches in here. Uh, notice it's got a 12-volt plug-in, so the passenger can plug their cell phone up, GPS, or what have you. It's got a little fold-out tray right here for the passenger. You know, that's great to eat on, put a laptop computer on. Uh, got another little storage area right here. Uh, ice cold dash air. Heat works great. It's got the overhead TV, the VCR. Uh, notice the curtain that goes all the way around for privacy. Solid hardwood cabinets. Uh, these aren't the cheap cabinets. This is the same grade cabinets you're going to put in your own home. Day night shades in all the windows instead of the blinds. Notice the carpeted headliner. Uh, folks, this really helps with insulation and it also helps to reduce outside noise and road noise when you're driving down the road. We're going to step back from the cab. You've got a queen size pull out sleeper sofa instead of the flip down sofa traditionally found in most RVs. All the fluorescent lighting looks great. It's got the nice light fixtures. Table booth will fold down, make a bed, so this camper does sleep six. I uh, got a big full length mirror right here. It's got the fantastic vent fan with the rain sensor. That's an upgrade. Notice the side kitchen, folks. This has uh, got Corian countertops and not the generic ones. I mean, there's the DuPont Corian badge right there, so you know you're getting genuine, top quality countertops. Notice you've got a confection oven, electric, so this is a microwave and an oven, and it's all electric. Uh, of course, you got the LP stove top, plenty of drawer space. Uh, Two-way RV refrigerator freezer. Remember, folks, we show you all this works. I mean, just a lot of space in here, a lot of drawer space. Carpet, linoleum, everything looks great. It's got twin ducted roof air, so you can hang meat in this RV with both those airs going. We're going to step back to the bedroom, and I'm going to tell you, folks, just a huge bedroom. Queen Island East-West bed. It's got the TV in here, of course. Closet space fluorescent lighting uh, underneath the bed there's additional storage I'm going to show you another reason look how thick this wall is right here in this rear window I mean you've got a seven or eight inches right there of insulated wall that is how well these nationals are made uh, like I said they were a very popular RV uh, still one of the best ones made in my opinion and I do hundreds of these RVs every year notice all the nice trim around the slide out uh, it's got a sliding mirror closet. I mean, even the nice little touches like the etched dolphins. I mean, just really sets this part, this RV apart, especially for this lower price. Enclosed bathroom. This is nice because uh, that way you can be in the restroom and not blocking access to the bedroom. You can open the door up all the way for privacy if you want the bedroom and bathroom to get ready in. Uh, notice again the etched door on the shower, the glass surround shower, it's got a skylight, vanity, brass, plumbing fixtures, upgrade, traveler toilet, this is a china toilet instead of the plastic one, uh, medicine cabinet, storage, vent fan, uh, it's got the return for your second air conditioner in here. Uh, everything, I mean this is a solid door, I mean this is not hollow wood, that's a solid wood door. Everything in this RV is just top-notch. It's made to last. This is something that you're going to be able to enjoy 10 or 15 years from now. I mean, just made to last for many years. Control panels right here. It's got the monitor panel, fantastic fan control, the slide-out room control. This all hydraulic slides, too. So, like I said, folks, just a beautiful RV, 54,000 miles. Everything works perfectly. Uh heavy insulated so if you're wanting something to use up north in the winter time or Canada this right here is designed for that I mean it is made to handle any climate a 340 horsepower workhorse chassis Allison transmission I mean folks you're not going to get 
much better than this in a gas burner motorhome. I mean, this is pretty much top of the line when it comes to gas burners. I mean, and why go out and spend sixty, seventy thousand dollars on a diesel motorhome when this one for thirty-four nine will do just the same thing and just as well, and probably run off and leave it. Uh, thirty-four nine, folks, and that is five thousand dollars under NADA retail. Uh, like, like I said, folks, that's the out-the-door price, no extra sales fees, Parkway RV Center doesn't charge dock fees, prep fees, dealer fees of any kind. So not only are we saving you thousands off the price compared to the big dealerships, but we don't charge you $1,200 to $2,000 in these fake add-on sales fees. NADA guides right here, 2002, 5342, workhorse chassis, uh, adjusting for the miles, it's got 54 or 15% add-on for the miles. Look what this thing cost you, folks, $108,000 in 2002. Folks, as you can see, you adjust for the mileage. I'm, I'm already under average retail. You add the options that were not included in this RV when it was new on the base price, so it's actually more than $108,000 new. $39,500 and $32,800, I'm asking $34,900. With low mileage in this nice of condition, you can see it for yourself. Watch the video, watch the uh, look at the pictures. I've got high def pictures, plenty of them, so you can see everything on this RV. Thirty-four nine. You need financing? That's no problem. You can actually borrow up to thirty-nine five on this RV, so you don't need a down payment. My interest rates start at two percent with approved credit. But and you know why my interest rates are so low compared to the other dealers? Let me tell you why. You go to these big name RV dealerships or even the small ones. They have a finance manager or business manager as some of them call it. And what that business manager does is he makes more money for the dealership. He takes your credit application. He gets you approved at 2%, 2.5% or what have you. But he or she turns around and charges you 8, 9, and 10% interest because that's how they get paid. The more money they make the dealership they get a percentage of that so they're going to mark the interest rate up so they can make more money and the dealership can make more money uh, same thing in the car business and while they while they have you there they also try to push you on gap insurance extended warranties all this stuff and that they've got marked up four and five hundred percent because again the finance manager splits the proceeds with the dealer so that's why we get people done at two, two and a half percent, and you go to the big dealer up the street, they're charging eight or nine percent for the same customers because they have a finance manager whose pockets have to be stuffed as well. So folks, that's one of the reasons why we've been here 46 years. No finance managers, low prices, no extra fees, the best financing you're going to find anywhere. And did I mention, folks, we deliver anywhere in the United States, and all we charge you is what it costs us to bring it to you. I have four drivers on the road 24-7 delivering RVs all over the country. Uh, very experienced drivers with years of towing and driving experience on these RVs. And we'll deliver this RV right to your driveway. So folks, I know this video is a little longer than I usually go, but I just want to point out everything about this RV as well as I could. Um, that's Like I said, we try to be completely honest with you, point out the flaws and the good. And I'm going to tell you, this motorhome right here has no flaws that I can see. My RV techs will check it out and guarantee everything to work on it when you pick it up. So, folks, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, you can get after-hour sales help at 423-605-6747. You can see pictures of this RV on my new website, parkwayrvcenter.net. I've got over 100 RVs in stock. Uh, my inventory changes constantly because, as you can imagine, with our low prices and no extra add-ons and no finance managers, we sell 10 to 15% of our RVs every week, coast to coast, because of our deals and how clean our RVs are. That's why we've been doing this for 46 years, folks. Uh, third generation, family owned and operated since 1968. So folks, when you buy from us, we want to sell your children RVs, your grandchildren RVs, because we're going to be here a long time and we're, we treat our customers like a person instead of a number. So come on down, check us out, uh, see the Parkway difference, and I guarantee you, you're going to buy one from us um, or recommend your friends to us because 
we can save you a lot of money no matter where you live at in the United States. Thank you for watching.